Good evening, everyone. You welcome to my channel. This is Lisa Lachey, and I just want to welcome you. This is my very first um, channel vlog with you, and I just want to say, hey, how's your day going? How was it today? It's raining here in the ATL. It's getting cold, and I want to get on here to introduce you to myself. I am Lisa Lachey. I do live in the Atlanta area, and my channel will be more about the things that have occurred in my life on a day-to-day -day basis and how you have to stay strong through it all that you're going through. So we're gonna start off today with a quick, quick mukbang. And I've got some Chinese food here. Well, I've got rice, I've got some wontons, and I've got an uh, egg foo young. And here's my thumb thumbnail. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started here. I just wanna welcome you. And I've been on a journey these last um, several weeks. My dad um, had cancer, and I say had because he is cured and he is healed. So, and he did have cancer and we were going through radiation for seven weeks. So that was quite, quite such a long time. But I just wanna give you a little bit of a journey. I'll show you a couple of pictures tomorrow. Uh, Monday is his birthday. We get to celebrate tomorrow. We're gonna to go to the Bucks game um, with the Atlanta Hawks. And, um, cause I'm from originally from Wisconsin. And so it's a treat for him because that's where he um, moved to, uh, moved from to Atlanta. But I just wanna go ahead and say my grace. Heavenly Father, we come before you and we give you thanks today for this food, for the nourishment of our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So I want to try this and see how I can eat with these sticks here. But, mmm. Mmm. Mm. I went to this place in um, Shambly. It's called East Eastern China. It's really, really good, really good. Mm. Very good. Very good. So the journey with my dad um, for seven weeks, like I said, I've been off of work and it's been it's been an amazing journey. Um, taking him five days a week to radiation and he did not require chemo, thank God, but it has been a journey. And with two sisters here that live in Atlanta, there's just the three of us. So I was able to take off and be able to um, take him every day except for a little short stint when I went to um, New Orleans for Christmas, but it has been a journey. And um, to see him now, when he first came here, um, he was really not in good shape at all. His legs were swollen, ankles were swollen, um, feet were swollen, and it took us a lot of doctors to get through some of the medicine that they had him on in, in Milwaukee. Um, and then they weaned him off of a lot of medicine once he got here. But I just saying this all is that when you're going through something like this with a family member or even with yourself, you have to stay prayer, prayed up. You have to have faith and you have to believe and trust God in, in everything. And, and not just some days, but every single day. And it has been, um, you know, a journey for, for me, you know, especially, you know, making sure that I kept my word and my commitment. Um, not that that would have been an issue, but it's just that some some days you wake up and then you're, you know, he may not be in a good mood or, you know, you yourself may not be feeling well or I wasn't feeling well. And it was just, um, it was just, a you know, a challenge on some days. And to communicate with your siblings is so very important. Um, we didn't at some point in time and it kind of got hectic but now i just realized that through it all god's will is going to be done regardless of what anyone says or does um his will will be done so i thank god that we have finished this journey and my dad is is on his way to full recovery um he did have seed and plants done prior to the radiation and now that the radiation is done and complete um, i can see his strength coming back and he just looks so so good Mm. this is so good you guys I don't know when I lived in Milwaukee we had this place called uh, I think it was Wong's Walk and they had 
the best egg foo young. And I've been living in, in Atlanta for 16 years. And this is the first time that I've actually found a place that made really, really good egg foo young. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. Very, very good. So I just wanted to get on here for my first um, video to let you all know that I will be with you every single day. I'll take you through some of the things that occur on in my life and some of the things that, you know, my father's progress and just our family life and life in Atlanta. And I just want you to all know that, you know, through it all, you just have to really, really stay stay in tune with God, stay in tune with his word and make sure that um, anytime that you feel like you're unable to communicate with someone in your family, just take a break for a moment and just ask God to guide you because it's all going to work out. Like I said, my sisters and I are fine, but it's just that this journey, it can take a toll on everybody. It can take a toll on you know, some of us that wanted to do things and they weren't, weren't able to, or some of um, us that had to do certain things every day. And um, you just, it takes a toll on everybody. And my dad is not the type of person, he definitely um, does not want to feel like he, you know, was, was here and, you know, causing any type of friction or bickering. And so we just have to make sure that we do you know, listen to everyone um, and listen to, you know, everyone's opinion about things and just hear it out and just work and talk it out and communicate because that's so important. Communication is the key in every type of relationship that you have, whether it's with a family member, member, a spouse, a child, a co-worker, anyone that you have to speak with and communicate with, you have to do it. You have to do it. Sometimes you may not feel like it. Sometimes you may feel like the other person is not going to listen to you or hear you but you still got to do it you still got to do it and it's so so important hmm. Mm -hmm. this is good i've seen some videos lately of asmr where people are not talking at all and you're just eating or having a snack or whatever but throughout the whole video you can't talk and I thought that was interesting. So I'm going to try and do that one as well. If I can. We'll see. But um, YouTube is, is so fascinating to me lately. I've been watching different families and different people. And it's just interesting. Mm. This rice is really good. I'm going to have to put these chopsticks down. <laughs> and get my um, fork, but I think I'm doing a pretty good job here. Mmm. Mmm. This egg foo young is so good. Oh my gosh. I could have just got a nap. And it's very filling. Very filling. So good. It's so fresh. Everything that you order from this restaurant they make it as you come in or call it in i was sitting there for about um 20 minutes because i added some more onto my order after i had placed the first order and thought about the egg foo young and i added that on there so i had to wait about 10 more extra minutes but oh my gosh that was so good so good but there were so many people coming in and out of there wanting um ordering food or had called it in or sat there and ate in the restaurant and this is a really 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 great restaurant it's called um yeah eastern china taste and i think they're all over um the atlanta area but this particular one has really good star ratings and it's off of shambly dunwoody and it's so so good so mm. Mm. Yeah, this is good. This is so, so good. But, um, yeah, like I said, so just remember 
Communication is the key. Staying positive at all times and staying prayed up. Um, prayed up because, you know, God will lead it and guide us and direct us in everything that we do. And you just really need to stay focused and stay true to who you are and just really make sure that you, like I said, communicate with everyone at all times. And I thank God, you know, even through the experience of um, taking my dad every single um, day, it's just, you know, just to see him go through that and to come through it was, I'm so thankful for it and so grateful for it. If I can, I'm one, once I start editing this, I'm going to try to edit in um, the last day of his treatment when he was ringing the bell, um, which is, a, you know, just that's what they do down here. And that's just a sign of them completing their treatment. And I just thought that was just so neat. He was so tickled um, ringing that bell and completing his treatment. So, um, you know, cancer is... is um, attacked so many of um, lives, so many people that we know, so many people that we've worked with, so many people in our families. And you don't want to see anyone go through that um, because the pain can be excruciating um, when you're going through it. And like I said, thank God um, my dad did not have to do the chemotherapy um, because from what I hear, you know, that can be very, very harsh on a person's body so um, but I do see you know as far as um, children and as far as families it's a lot of um, a lot of us that are taking care of our parents now and um, that's something that I'm seeing a lot here in Atlanta there are a lot of, of baby boomers here and they're here because their children are taking care of them so I just thank God for that opportunity that he had placed on me and placed in my life. I just want you all to know that, you know, life can have so many twists and turns, but it is our job. It is our job to get through it. And it's our job to live the best life that we can enjoy each and every single moment because, and with your family and with your friends and with your coworkers and, and people that you spend the time with, just enjoy each and every moment and live life to the best. So that is what my channel is gonna be about. I'm gonna do some muk, um, mukbangs and um, a little, I mean, you know, it'll be a little bit here and there, but most of it will be my journey. Tomorrow, I wanna show you all our family as we get together and we have um, really, really great seats, floor seats um, to watch the, the game tomorrow night, the Hawks and the Bucks. And I just want to see, show you all, just family life, just life in Atlanta, period. And always, always live with love in your heart in every single thing you do. Uh, make sure that you have love in your heart, you communicate, and that you just, you talk about things. You just work it out, work it out, work it out. Talk about it, work it out, and live, laugh, and love. That's my motto. And that's what I have, this little, this tattoo, if you can see it. But... It says, um, live, laugh, and love. You know, that's that's what it's about. That's what life is about. And that's what I'm about. So I do want to show you that on my channel. And as always, with love, Lisa Lachey. Bye. Have a great night. Hold on now. Hold on. Okay. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Three times. Three times. Just pull it. Side to side. Three times. One, two, three. One, two, three.